Lidl. <laughs> Song Lidl lang. <laughs> Pero ay magandang hapon sa ating lahat. Welcome sa ating new series entitled First Move. Ayan, first move. Ayan, kamusta kayo? Ayan, um, mamaya ko na-explain sa inyo kung bakit first move yung title ng series natin. Pero hindi siya about love life, ha? <laughs> Baka kala nyo yun yung first move na sinasabi. Hindi, wala pang <laughs> sayang. Sa ano, February pa po. Pero ayun, before we start, sige, tayo ay mag-pray. Sige po, manalangin tayong lahat. Lord, uh, we thank you for this day, Panginoon. Haya mo na ngayong hapon, Panginoon, ma-challenge kami, Panginoon, ng salita mo, God. Na after this, God, we will be burdened, Panginoon, sa mga tao sa labas, Panginoon. Lord, katagpuin mo kami, Panginoon, mangusap ka sa puso namin, Panginoon. May we receive this word, God, soften our hearts, Panginoon. Nataas ka namin, God, samahan mo kami. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And ayun po, ang scripture natin for uh, today po will be on Matthew 7. Verse uh, 12 to 14. Ayan, sige po, basahin natin. Sabi dito, Therefore, whatever you want men do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. And, Ayan, bago natin aralin itong verse natin, konting ano lang, background lang sa Matthew 7. So ayun, uh, Matthew 7, uh, part siya ng Sermon on the Mount. Yung Sermon on the Mount. So this is actually the last part ng Sermon on the Mount. At si Jesus, uh, tinuro niya yung sa Sermon of the Mount sa mga followers niya, sa mga tagasunod niya. Sino dito followers ni Jesus? Ayan, so para din sa inyo, itong word natin. <laughs> Maraming nag-alangan, hindi? Charot lang. <laughs> Pero ayun, yung Sermon of the Mount, ayan, um, it has ano, three topics na divide siya into three. So, nag-start siya in the Beatitude, Beatitudes in Matthew 5. Di ba na-discuss na natin yung Beatitudes? Uh, it discusses about uh, the characteristics of a true Christian. And then the second one is in Matthew 6 that deals with a relationship with God. And the last part of the Sermon of the Mount is Matthew 7 that deals with a relationship with man, a relationship with other people. Kaya naman pagdating in Matthew 7, kung babasahin natin yung umpisa niya, it talks about, ano, ang title niya dito ay Do Not Judge. Alam mo yung verse na yun, yung about judgment natin for other people. And this verse, Matthew uh, 7, 12, Ito yung huling part ng, ng, ano, ng, ng section na yon. Ang sabi niya, Therefore, whatever you want men do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Ito na yung summary nung sinabi ni Jesus. And ayan, pag binasa natin tong verse na to, mukha, mukha siyang familiar, no? Mukha ba siyang familiar sa inyo? Sa natin siya, ano, naririnig itong verse na to. <laughs> Bukod sa church, sa natin siya naririnig? Ayan, sa mga saying, di ba? Common saying siya, di ba? Na, <laughs> na ano natin to, naaral natin siya sa, yon ang golden rule, inaral natin to nung grade 9? Grade 9 ba tayo? <laughs> Ayan, inaral natin yung golden rule, di ba? Katunog niya yung, yung golden rule. At very common siya na saying. At, Maraming nagsasabi na nento at magkukot ako ng tatlong philosophers na nagsabi ng Golden Rule. Ayan, nag-research yun. <laughs> Ayan, si Confucius, si Aristotle, and si Socrates. So ganito nila sinabi yung Golden Rule. Si Confucius, ang sabi niya, Do not impose to others what you do not wish for yourself. Sabi naman ni Aristotle, What you don't want done to you, don't do to others. And si Socrates naman, Whatever is displeasing to you, then don't do that to others. Nung grade 9 ako, hindi ko talaga ito ma-memorize eh. Sabi ko lang, don't do unto others, don't do it. <laughs> Para simple, wag mo lang gawin. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko talaga siya ma-memorize. Pero ayun, very common saying siya. At same siya doon sa sinabi ni Jesus in Matthew 7.12. At kapag chinek natin yung um, ibang translation, may kita natin na ang title nung part na yan ay The Golden Rule. 
the golden rule pa din. At a little trivia lang, hindi nanggaling kay Jesus yung golden rule. Before pang nasabi ni Jesus yan, meron na yung saying na golden rule. Meron na yung saying na yan. So, matagal na yung saying na yan. Pero when we read the golden rule, sige, balikan natin. Ayan. When we, real, when we read the golden rule, ayan, ng tatlong philosophers na to, all of them put this in a negative way. Diba? Negative way. Sabi dito ni Socrates, whatever is displeasing to you, then don't do to others. Ayan, para mas maintindihan natin kung paano ba nag-work yung, yung golden rule nila. For example, ayaw kong sugatan mo ako, kaya hindi kita susugatan. <laughs> ayaw kong ito, ayaw kong nakawan mo ako kaya hindi kita na nakawan. All of them <laughs> all of them are put in a negative way. ba? Diba? In a negative way. But Jesus Jesus paraphrase it in a positive sense. Basahin natin ulit yung Matthew 7.12. Sabi dito, whatever you want men do to you, do also to them. Ayan, para ulit mas maintindihan natin kung si Confucius yung susundin natin, ang sasabihin natin sa neighbors natin, I would not hate you. Yun yung gagawin natin kapag sinunod natin yung golden rule from those philosophers. Pero kung si Jesus ang susundin natin on the Matthew 7.12, imis na I would not hate you, ang sasabihin natin, I would love you. And another example, kung si Confucius naman yung susundin natin, We will say to our neighbors, I would not steal from you. But in Matthew 7:12, ang gagawin natin, but I would give to you. Ganon, binago ni Jesus yung golden rule, de ba? Ginawa niya into a positive sense, into an into a positive action. So ayon, one is stated neg into a negative sense, so that we will become passive in a relationship with others. Ginawa siya ng, ng negative way, yung golden rule nila, Confucius nila, Socrates, para maging passive tayo sa ibang tao, na wala tayong gagawin sa kanila na, ano, wag mo kong pakailaman kasi hindi kita pinapakailaman. Parang ganon. Na, <laughs> mind your own business, parang ganyan. Na ang, ang tend sa atin, nung golden rule na yon ay, ano, mag-focus lang sa sarili at wag nang mga alam sa iba. But, hindi yun yung encouragement ni Jesus on the Sermon of the Mount. On His teachings, He wants to initiate positive actions towards others. Na tayo yung magbibigay ng first move. Tayo yung mag-first move for kindness, for forgiveness, for giving, and love. Amazing, no? Kung paano binago ni Jesus <laughs> yung golden rule. And alam niyo po, ang pag-ibig na meron tayo ay dapat buhay. It should be an active love. It should be an active love. And that's our first point. Our love must be active. Active dapat ng love natin. Dapat <laughs> ayan, dapat buhay ang pag-ibig natin. Dapat kumikilos yung pag-ibig natin. Hindi yung wala kang pakialam sa iba pero nangingialam ka sa iba. <laughs> Ganyan. Ayan, ayan. Sige, makinig muna tayo. Ayan, ayan. Jesus does not want us to be passive in our relationship with others, but to be active in kindness and love towards others. Ayan yung gusto ni Jesus na gawin natin. Maging active tayo sa pagmamahal, pag, pagbibigay ng pagmamahal sa iba, pagbibigay ng kindness sa iba. And now, ayan, hindi lang basta nilatag ni Jesus yung principle na yon in Matthew 7:12 but he also said kung pa- paano natin ididil yung yung principle na yon kaya naman nasundan siya ng Matthew uh, 7:13-14 of course <laughs> sabi niya dito enter by the narrow gate ang ang weird no kasi golden rule tapos biglang sasabihin ni Lord enter by the narrow gate Ayan, enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and there are many who go in by it Because narrow is the gate and difficult. Ayan. So, ayun. So, bakit, ano, sinabi ni Jesus sa mga disciples niya yung principle na to at biglang sasabihin niya, enter the narrow gate. ba? Diba? Bakit iko compare ni Lord sa narrow gate yung, yung golden rule? 
So ayun, uh, thinking about uh, the golden rule. Ayun, balikan ulit natin yung golden rule, yung Matthew 7:12. Ayun, mukha siyang madali, 'di ba, na gawin at mukhang masaya siyang gawin. Kasi ang sabi doon, kapag ginawa mo to sa iba, ganun din yung gagawin nila sa iyo. At pwede rin natin siyang inote as a selfish act, 'di ba? Medyo selfish siyang pakinggan. Kasi gagawin mo 'yun kasi gusto mong bumalik sa iyo, 'di ba? Pero kapag nilagay natin siya into reality, <laughs> kapag nilagay natin into reality yung golden rule, ayan, gano'n ba kalaki yung chance na bumalik sa iyo yung binigay mo sa iba? Gano'n kalaki yung chance na bumalik talaga sa iyo yung pag-ibig na ibinahagi mo sa iba? Ayan, kanina we did a street evangelism and last week, sa lahat ng nginitian natin, ilan sa kanila ang ngumiti pabalik sa iyo? <laughs> ayan. Ayan, and kunyari naman sa ina-LG natin, sa win-win natin, ilan sa kanila yung minahal kang pabalik katulad nung pagmamahal na ibinigay mo sa kanila? ba? Diba, hindi lahat ganun. Hindi lahat ganun yung bumabalik sa atin. So, hindi talaga literal na masaya at madaling gawin yung golden rule. Kasi minsan wala naman talagang bumabalik sa atin. ba? Diba? Minsan, ang nakukuha natin ay imbis na pag-ibig din ay rejections. ba? Diba? Ayun yung madalas na nakukuha natin. <laughs> Ayan. Minsan, kahit gano'n nakalaki ang pagbamahal na ibinigay mo, madalas tayo pa din ang naiiwan na mag-isa. ba? Diba? Tayo pa yung naabuso. ba? Diba? <laughs> tayo pa yung naabuso. Pero sabi ni Lord, in Matthew 7, 13, enter. Ayan, sabi ni Jesus, enter that narrow gate. Enter that narrow gate. He did not encourage his disciples, his followers, to enter the narrow gate, but he commanded it. Kinomand niya na pumasok kayo doon. You know why? Kasi hindi naman talaga encouraging pumasok sa narrow gate. Hindi naman talaga encouraging na gawin yung golden rule. <laughs> diba? Hindi talaga siya madali. Hindi madaling gawin yung first move. ba? Diba? Nga kung... Sa, kung Iko-compare nga natin yung first move sa romantic relationship. Di ba parang nakakahiya kung sino yung nag-first move? Parang ganon. Na parang siya naman yung ano eh, unang lumapit. Parang ganon, medyo may part na nakakahiya. And ayun yung hindi maganda na part sa golden rule, na mahirap na parte ng yung golden rule. Ayan, he commanded it kasi hindi naman talaga encouraging to enter that path, to walk that path. Ayan, sabi nga ni Jesus, it is narrow, yung way ay narrow, and it is difficult. Difficult yung, yung paggawa ng golden rule. Hindi sapat na meron lang tayong active love towards others, but it must also be enduring. It must be enduring love. And that's our second point. Our love must be enduring. Diba? Kaya naman, doing the first move takes a lot of commitment. Diba? Kasi when you enter a narrow path, sabi din sa ibang translation, it is a straight road. Straight and narrow. Ganyan. So, makipot yung daan. Kapag yung sasakyan pumasok sa ganung daanan, dapat sure na siya, diba? Sa gagawin niya. Kasi di na siya makakaatras. Mahirap ng umatras. Ganun kahirap pumasok sa ganung daanan. And ayun, being, doing the first move must be done wholeheartedly and with commitment. Dapat sure ka <laughs> na gagawin mo yan. Dapat committed ka kasi mahirap na mahirap gawin yung golden rule. Mahirap yung proseso. Diba? Mukha lang siyang madali pero in reality hindi talaga. You know, the golden rule of Jesus ay hindi lang basta hindi lang basta pagiging mabait sa katabi mo, sa ibang tao. Hindi lang siya pagbibigay ng donasyon, pagbibigay ng limos sa mga nasa kalsada. But it is more than that. It is more than that. What Jesus wants us to do is for us to spend time with other people, have a relationship with other people, do life with them, share life with them sympathize, care, to join them in their suffering. Ayun yung gusto ni Jesus na gawin natin. And, ayan, it, kung babasahin ulit natin yung Matthew 7.12, ayan, wala namang assurance, di ba? Wala namang siyang sinabi na gagawin din talaga nila yun sa'yo. 
yung kabutihan na ipapakita mo sa kanila. Walang promise si Lord na sure yan. <laughs> Nakapag ginawa mo to, yun din yung matatanggap mo. Pero alam niyo yung promise ni Lord, sinabi niya at the beginning of the Sermon of the Mount. Kapag binasa natin sa Beatitudes in Matthew 5, 10 to 11, pwede ba natin i-flash? Ayan, sabi dito, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Yun talaga yung lalakaran natin. <laughs> Imbis na kabutihan din, possible na, pwede namang bumalik din kung ano yung ibinigay natin, pero most likely ito yung madalas na natatanggap natin. ba? Diba? Persecution, insult, rejection, ganyan. And in the Sermon of the Mount, ito yung sinabi ni Lord, ito yung pinangako niya. That's why Jesus also said, in Matthew, uh, balik tayo in Matthew 13 to 14, sabi niya doon, um, Konting tao lang yung nakakakita ng narrow way, diba? ng narrow road. Konti lang yung pumapasok doon. You know why? Because people always choose yung place na mas komportable sila. Diba? Many people chooses to be passive in their relationship towards others. Diba? Mas madali naman kasi talagang ano, wala ka nalang pakialam sa ibang tao. Diba? Mas madali. Ayan, mas madali na umaten ka na lang Linggo-linggo sa simbahan at palalimin mo yung sarili mong pananampalataya at relasyon kay Lord. Mas madaling gawin yun kaysa i-share mo yung buhay mo sa ibang tao at samahan sila sa paghihirap na nararanasan nila. ba? Diba? Mas madaling maging excellent na lang sa ministry natin sa loob ng simbahan. Mas madali yun kaysa magkaroon ka ng pakialam sa mga tao sa labas at tao sa paligid mo. And Alam naman natin na hindi yun yung gusto uh, gawin natin. Diba? Ay, hindi yun yung gusto ni Jesus na gawin natin. He wants us to think less of ourselves. And, et- and ito yung last point natin. Our love must be selfless. Our love must be selfless. You know, when Jesus came on this world, hindi, niya, hindi siya nag-establish ng... ng ng maraming churches para sa followers niya. Hindi niya ginawang special yung sarili niya dahil siya yung anak ng Diyos. But he came to feed the hungry, to heal the sick, ba? Diba? To forgive sins. He fought for, for, for poverty and injustices. ba? Diba? Ayun yung ginawa ni Jesus dito sa mundo. And siguro... Uh, we can think that having godly life and great devotion to God can be the most important thing. But what's more important is a single act of love done in His name. We can think na to live righteously ay to live according by rules and by laws. But we can also live righteously by loving others. By loving others. Sabi nga, di ba, in Matthew 16.25, For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. And alam nyo, habang inaaral ko tong, itong word natin for this afternoon, nakakaano siya, ang tawag dito, nakakabasag ng puso <laughs> at nakakarebuke. Kasi habang inaaral ko siya, naa-assess ko yung sarili ko. Nakikita ko kung gano'ng kapatay yung pag-ibig ko sa ibang tao. <laughs> Naiyak. <laughs> na parang, I've been a Christian for almost eight years. Pero ngayon nakikita ko kung gano kapatay, kung gano ka hindi active, kung gano ka hindi enduring and selfless yung pag-ibig na meron ako para sa ibang tao. That for those years, nakafocus lang pala ako sa sarili ko. My own faith to God. ba? Diba? Kung paano ko masalalim kay Lord, kung paano ko gagaling sa ministry, kung ano yung pang pwede kong gawin sa loob ng simbahan. And that breaks my heart. <laughs> Nakaka, nakaka-rebuke. <laughs> nakaka-rebuke. Diba? One rejection, one rejection can make me hate people right away. One disagreement, kaya ko na silang i-remove sa buhay ko at wag na lang mga alam sa kanila. That's how easily, alam mo yun kung gano'ng kawalang <laughs> pakialam sa iba. 
sa trabaho, mas gusto kong wag na lang silang kilalanin at kaibiganin kasi ayaw kong pakilaman nila yung ginagawa ko. Sa bahay, mas okay lang na iwan ko sila doon. Sa labas lang ako, sa loob lang ako ng simbahan buong araw kasi mas gusto kong maging busy sa ministry as a faith ko kay Lord. Mas madaling gawin yun eh. And kayo ba, how about you? Can you assess yourself right now? Can you assess yourself right now? How is your love for others? Is it active? Is it enduring? Is it selfless? Tignan, let's assess ourselves. Let's assess yung pag-ibig na meron tayo for others. Alam nyo, in Matthew 13 to 14, Jesus presented the way, the narrow and the broad way. Di ba? Because you know, at the end of the day, it is still your decision kung gagawin mo yung golden rule. It is your decision kung yun ba yung lalakaran mong daanan or pipiliin mo yung mas komportable na lang. And right now, what decision are you gonna take? Will you stay passive towards others or not? Will you endure doing the first move or not? Will you love selflessly? Will you take that decision to enter the narrow gate? And sige, for a moment, can we just assess ourselves? Tignan lang natin yung bawat ginagawa natin sa ibang tao. And today, if you think that this message is for you, can you stand and I'll pray for you? Lord, today you can see our hearts, Panginoon. Di ba namin maamin agad, Panginoon? But God, there are maraming pagkukulang sa amin, Panginoon. Marami kaming pagkukulang na nagawa, Panginoon. And thank you, God, for reminding us, Panginoon, on how we should love other people, God. Kung ano dapat kami, Panginoon, na yung pag-ibig dapat na meron kami, Lord. Buhay yun, Panginoon. Buhay yun sa ibang tao, Panginoon. na yung love na yun, Lord, nag endure God, continuing siya, Panginoon. That, Lord, we will not think more of ourselves, Panginoon, but we will care for other people, Panginoon. And today, God, durugin mo yung puso namin para sa ibang tao, Panginoon. Durugin mo yung puso namin and give us a burden, God, for them, Panginoon, to, to love them, Panginoon, ng tama, Panginoon. Hayaan mo, Panginoon, na, Lord, we will enter the narrow gate, God. At bigyan mo kami ng lakas, Panginoon, that as we, Lord, as we take that path, Panginoon, we know that you're with us, Panginoon. Sinasamahan mo kami sa bawat pagsubok, sa bawat pagsama namin, sa bawat pagmamahal namin sa iba, Panginoon. Lord, purify our hearts, God. Clean our hands, Panginoon, as we reach out to other people. Salamat, Panginoon. Tinataas ka namin ngayong hapon na to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.